move over to Andrew first. Thank you. Fee, hello, good morning. Um, I, you and Terrence just went through the most unusual rookie season, I think, in NBA history um, for how long it was. And can you just, I mean, I don't know how long you want to go with it, but just can you describe what that whole year was like, um, you know, not before the pandemic, not being in the bubble, just what you were doing all summer? Like, what was it? What was that whole experience like? Um, it was definitely different. Um, before the pandemic, we were kind of on a roll. I believe we were the two seed, so things were kind of clicking. Uh, guys were getting healthier. Um, we were kind of just catching our groove. And then once the pandemic hit, it kind of stopped everything all of a sudden. Like, everyone's at home. That communication, that brotherhood, that bond that we were developing throughout the season kind of was on halt. And then we had to regenerate it in the bubble. So it was definitely strange you know, with the bubble with different circumstances, you know. It was, it was much more, it was a different experience for sure, but I feel like we learned a lot from it. And going to training camp this time around is much more connected. Guys are more together. So it's definitely, it's definitely, been a, definitely an adjustment shift. How did you spend the time when the team was in the bubble? Like, were you working out the whole time? Did you take a little bit of a break? Yeah, I was working out the whole time just preparing, just getting my mind and body right. So for sure. Thank you. Okay, we'll move over to Sabrina Merchant. Hey, Fee. Um, I'm just curious, like, what have you spoken with Ty and the coaching staff about how they plan on using you on the team this year? Uh, just talk to them about what they need. So what they are, what we know, what, as a young guy myself, what I need to provide with this talented team is just defense, my voice, and just become a, a, a really good rebounder for this team as a big. And that's what I kind of picked on going through practice because we have enough scoring, we have enough playmakers. Just filling those extra glue spots is something I really look forward to by rebounding being a vocal voice on defense. So those are the main thing I'm focusing on with Tyler and them. And then have you guys like talked about how the G League is going to work this year at all? I have no clue. Um, I heard there is going to be a G League season. It would be a little more different, but I have no, I'm have not sure uh, what the, what's going to happen with the G League. Okay, we're going to move over to Miriam. Hey, welcome back to work, V. Nice to see you. Um, wondering what it's uh, if you're excited or how excited you are to work with Serge and just you know obviously he's he's so experienced and so talented, um, but also sort of he he uh, you know your uncle paved the way for a lot of African players to come over. So I wonder if that's kind of a cool connection as well. Yeah, Serge has been great. Just talking to him, picking his brain, especially his season with the Raptors. He's been really good. Uh, his game is something I want to model, being a stretch five, like can shoot the ball, defend, be a great playmaker. So I really just been watching him how he carries himself. He's very vocal on defense, talks a lot about schemes and stuff, which I really admire. So just picking up his presence on the court is something I want to pick up. So he's been great. Okay, we'll move over to Charlie. Morning, Fee. Uh, Morning. Do you have any, uh, since last season ended, did you set any kind of personal goals for the offseason in this year? Yeah, just to be able to contribute as best as I can. I feel like last year was a big learning curve for me. We had a lot of expectations and stuff. But just this year, I feel more more present, more fluid. And my goal is to contribute any way I can by rebounding, uh, being a vocal leader on the defensive end, and just helping with any way I can on this team. OK, and we'll move over to Justin Russo. Hey, Fee. Good to see you. How you doing? Good. You're now entering your second season in the league, and you're going to be under an entirely new coaching staff compared to last season. So what has this new coaching staff told you that they want you to work on specifically in terms of facets of your game? Uh, just be able to make open shots, uh, continue to be a, 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 a presence on the rebounding end, and a, a versatile defender. I feel like I can guard a lot of position, not just four or five. So one of the main things I want to work on and that we talked about is just knocking on open shots and guarding multiple positions. Okay, and our last question is going to come from Ohm. If he, I just wanted to piggyback on that and ask you, what have you thought of uh, what's been your first impression of Kenny Atkinson? Because he's been known for his development everywhere he went from Atlanta to Brooklyn. Um, his work with big men as well. I was wondering how has he been with you and what have you learned from him so far? Kenny's been great. Uh, the way he's been structuring workouts for us uh, these last few weeks has been really outstanding. He's been very vocal and detailed in every segment that we've gone through. We've been going up and down, trying new schemes on the uh, three-on-threes, one-on-one workouts. So he's been really good just bringing new outlooks on the game, giving us perspective of what he's learned. So every session I come with Kenny has been just great. Thank you. That's all I have for you today, Fee. Thank you, man. Have a good practice. Thank you.
Thank you.